Was it a girlfriend or a guy friend? Or what's the deal? No, uh, friend, and we've been, it's a relationship, and right. he's in town, and, um, he's tired and everything, and I'm taking it out on him, and I'm like, what? I'm going home. Yeah, I was like, how old is this guy? 35. 35? Yes. And he's still that emotionally immature? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Out of nothing, he just... just... And I'm older, so I'm like... Yeah. I'm just like... How old you? Know you? I'm, I'm done with the drama and immature crap. And right. How old are you? 53. 53. At least you were old enough to not be offended when a guy asks you how old you are. Like, some women are just like, you know... They, oh, no, I don't... Right. You, you, no, I don't care. It's, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> like, you know, there's some women. What is it about that? Women, sometimes they just get offended when you, when you ask them. You're not supposed to ask women what their age is like. Really? Like, where yeah. where is that written in stone? And like, uh, what they got, like, 10 damn wrinkles on each eye. Uh, and you don't know how old they are. If you oh, guess it. It's yeah. so dumb. So, so he just decided... He, what was he grumpy about? Come on, I know guys get grumpy about well, stupid know, shit. It's kind of, well, I kind of understand, but I'm like, whatever. Yeah. Um, we've been dating for a while, and I've always told him that I was like separated, but I'm married, but I haven't been with him for six years because he won't sign the papers. Oh my god! And just to be a jerk, and I'm trying to explain that. And he's like, well, why couldn't you have told me? And I'm, because I always feel like it's been six years. I don't even feel like I'm separated. I feel like I'm already divorced. But, I know, right? You know, I paid my my portion of it, and he was supposed to pay his half, and he doesn't want him just to be a jerk, and that ain't my fault. It's, so, you know, I've been, we sold our house. I've been living on my own for six years. It's, I'm divorced. <laughs> I'm, I'm not with him. It's right, like, right. But so, what did? How, how did it all come about? Like you meeting this guy? How did it all on, start? On a dating site. Okay. And that's usually it, how it is. Because you know what? Uh, that's how you meet people these days. No, no. It, it, it totally is. It's modern times. Remember it is. how it, at, in our times, like my parents told me, don't talk to strangers on MSN, right. on that little messenger, because right. you don't know who it is. And lo and behold, guess what happened 15 years later? Now we're meeting people to have sex on these dating apps. Right. You know, it's it's crazy, but it's it's a brave new world. You know, it's like people got to get up with, the, to, time. with yeah. the times, you know? All my friends, you know, I'm in my 50s, so all my friends are married. And I wonder why are you on these dating well, That's how you don't meet people in bars anymore. If you know bars and, or functions, they're all together because right. they've met people on dating sites. Now, here's what I want to know. Um, which dating sites were you using? Cause I've, I, I've gone on so many pathetic. Um, my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend of four years, you know, we were together four years. I met him on POF. I've gone on Meet Me. I've gone on Zeus. I've gone on uh, even the Christian ones, even though I'm not Christian. Right. It's all the same. I don't care which ones you are. So I'm like... Okay, I met my ex-boyfriend of four years on POF. I went back. He's a really nice guy. He is, but he has this issue that saying that you're married. And I'm like, maybe legally, but I'm not emotionally. Right. But he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Now, he, he, now that that was your ex-boyfriend or your guy? No, right now? T- yeah, today. It's like he's been in town and... and so he's like, you know, come and see me, and we'll just go have dinner, blah, blah, blah. And, and then what did he bring up in the situation that just made you go, like, okay, like this, I'm done? Well, because he was like, really? Um, you haven't told me? And I was like, I go, yeah, maybe I haven't. It's just not that I didn't tell you on purpose. It's just that's how I feel. It's On paper. Yeah, that's it. yeah, I've been single for six years when we met. I still felt like I was single. Right. You know, I've been with an ex and dated, and now I met you, and I still feel I'm still single. Right. It ain't my fault my ex husband won't sign the paper. So he was like, well, you didn't, you 
never told me a single it really never came up. It never crossed your mind. No. It really just didn't. No. And I could understand where he said what he said, but I was just like floored that I was like, Do you want me to leave? And he didn't answer me, so I just got my stuff and left. Oh my god. Because um he's all like I can see my life with you and you know He said that? Yeah, he's been saying it. Okay, okay. I can see my life with you, you know, I, I respect you so much, I fallen in love with you, blah blah but for me to I guess say that or I didn't say it changed the whole dynamics of it. So I was like Alright, well if it took that then I'm just gonna That's kinda dumb. Like well just I'm not gonna stay where I'm not wanted, that's for sure. Mm. I did stay in a marriage of 26 years where I wasn't wanted. I'm not gonna stay with somebody I've been with a little while but where I'm not wanted. No, so. uh, what about your, your your first marriage, your 26 years? Do you wish you had like gotten divorced sooner, but you kind of stayed for the kids and all that stuff? No, I never. We never had kids. I can't have kids, so okay. I've never had kids. Um, I'm the type of person where I'm like. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. But he drank so much. Mm. And every time he drank, which was every day of the week and on the weekends, I was every word in the book. I'm the one that I wasn't even telling him tonight. I go, don't, put, don't try to put yourself in my shoes because it was my retirement that paid for the new, uh, ten thousand dollar roof it was my retirement that paid for the twenty thousand dollar plumbing supply it was my or you know to get the house plumbed. What, what 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 kind of like advice would you give to young women to really you know it's gonna sound horrible and no like not like in the 30s and 40s people had morals right and but nowadays i would really really say you know what live with that person know that person before you actually want to give your life to that person because i knew him knew him a month within a year to the the month to the day that we a year to the day that we met we were married i was madly in love with him i was um we got a house, we wanted to have children, I couldn't have children, and it was probably the last 10 years that it went really sour, because mm -hmm. it got really bad, but... Right. What, what made you keep... Because, I mean, the thing is that there's a lot of women who stay with guys who are raging alcoholics, yeah. and they still find a way to stay with them, and they can't leave them for some reason. And I think because they don't have any... They don't care. Self respect. Oh, they don't or, have to. Okay. Or they're he's just freaking tore them down so bad. But you know what? I've always felt like, and you know, even at fi almost fifty three, I still feel my hair looks like crap and everything. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I still feel. You know what? I'm a gorgeous woman. I'm deserving of a man that can reciprocate what I give to him. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm. I think any man is lucky to be with me, mm. even at 53 years old. And if they can't see that, well, you know what? That's their loss. I, yeah, and I spent 26 years not really knowing that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life um, not receiving what I deserve. Correct. And that's what I would tell the young girls these days. You know, you deserve the best. Even... Even he deserves, if she's a witch to him and everything, freaking get out of the relationship. You deserve somebody that can love you the way you deserve. Everybody deserves to be loved in the right way. That's nice. And if, if that person can't fulfill you emotionally, mm -hmm. and, you know, physically anybody can get that. Yeah. But emotionally, nobody can give that to you, but only the person that you're in love with. Now, let me ask you this. This is going to be a personal question, but I got to ask you. At 53, man, I mean, how do you get involved in the whole sexting thing? How has that been? Oh, that hell no. No, that's not. Do you still, still keep You know what? <laughs> I, you know what? 
guys on POF or any dating site, I think they see me at 53. She's a desperate old old lady right. that I can, you know, I get 20, 30 year olds sending me freaking messages. Dick pics send, all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> sure. All it is, I don't even respond. What do I do? Block. <laughs> and then they'll make another profile. Hey, boo, what you, oh my <laughs> God, again, really? That's what, what are your biggest pet peeves on that? Dick pics. <laughs> and, you know? and treating me like, start asking me, you know, what kind of underwear do you wear? And it's yeah. like, really, dude? Yeah. Uh, or, or what did I tell a guy the other day? He goes, uh, was it the other day? It was a while ago. Um, hi, babe. And I'm all, do you know me? And he goes, no, we haven't met yet. Then what gives you the right to call me babe? You're not, I'm not your babe. Right. You know, once they start telling you, don't treat me like I'm a freaking hoe on the street. Right. But you got to understand, like these 20 and 30 year olds, they're finding a lot of women who will oh, happily. Do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. Know. And, and And for us, like I'm 32, right? Like. Sexting is the rule now. Like, yeah. it, it, like if a girl doesn't have like pics and you know, guys are so visually adept to like right. wising up physically. When I'm on a Trindo profile, you know, or, or anything like that. I'm not freaking Tinder too, but I hate that damn left thing. Well, the left thing, you know, is you start getting <laughs> tired of swiping left. But see, see, I have to assume that if all I see is face pics, I'm gonna assume that down there it looks like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Okay, so I am not going to take a chance. I want to make sure I'm 100% like just attracted to you physically and then we can move to the chat. It might be superficial, but it's just the way no. like it is. I got to know if you're it's attractive. Not, it's not superficial. You, you know, know what? Um, Women do the same thing too with the whole cap. Well, don't be wearing cap if you're bald. Well, you're doing the same fucking thing. Oh, I want a guy who's like at least six foot. So I'm six foot seven. Okay, oh, so that's... I'm the pre-selector. Like, then you don't have I to... I know. I like... To, that's my one thing is tall men. Right. But that's not being superficial. That's a preference, right? Yeah. So, what does it mean, like, if I want a girl with a nice body that takes care of herself physically? It's the same thing. So... Well, you know what? If I was in my 30s, I would want something like that. You know, something... Because, you know, physical attraction, I don't care. People... My, I had a friend call me shallow mm -hmm. because I was talking to this guy and then I seen him. Right. And I was like... I'm just not attracted to you. Mm -hmm. And she goes, well, how shallow is that, Lenore? I'm sorry. Attract Physical attraction is the very first thing that makes you want to get to know somebody. Yeah. It's uh, the uh, truth. Because under that logic, you can just tell him, okay, go go have sex with that bum girl from, from Skid or, Row. Oh, I don't want to. Well, then that means you're shallow, right? Well, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I am it's... so attracted to your personality. Yes. No, that crap doesn't fly with me. That's a compliment. I'll, I'll, I'll try that later on. But, yeah. You know, so they've called me and I'm like, I'm not going to settle for what you guys think, you know, right. I should, you know, I'm, I want to, physical attraction is, is, a, yes. is the main thing. That's what gets you to want to get to now, know somebody. Now, let me ask you this. Recently, I found out in California, I've been living here for two years. Recently, I found out in California. If you live with somebody for more than five years in the same house, they're entitled to half your shit. Ten years. It's ten years, not five years? No, it's ten years. Okay. Oh. Then that considers you legally married and they are considered to be, yeah. Why did I keep hearing it was five years? Can you confirm that on me? Well, I have a friend that was with her, her guy for over 12 and when they tried getting things uh separated uh she told me that it was it was 10 yeah okay uh, okay i hope it hasn't changed because that was probably like five years ago okay then it, if it did change we got to check up on that's that that's freaking horrible it's horrible five years, five years is like nothing it's that's... it's not that's dating <laughs> that's, right? the, that's still dating that's still getting to know each other that's, that's right the... at the point when you get to figure out if you like them or you hate them you right know? that's so, terrible five years no nah. You can take, uh, or they could take 50% of what's yours. So what are your thoughts on alimony? You know what? I feel with alimony, um, if you guys both contributed mm -hmm. and you can both support yourself, because I made more money than him. 
right. than my ex-husband. Um, hell no. It's, you know what, um, I took care of you, you know, with that extra money. Right. So it's, why should it be like the other way? For the rest it, of my life. Is that like, that, I'm not with you no more. You know, Chris Rock once said, I, I don't know if it was Chris Rock. He said that it's like when a guy makes more money than a woman, it's our money. When a woman makes more money than a man, it's my money. Yeah. No, you know what? I've <laughs> never, ever, ever, you know, even when I was, before I was married and I was dating, I swear, and this was back in the 80s. Right. He would treat one time, I would treat one time. I never, ever till this damn day, um, even with him. Or people that I've dated, I've always paid my way, you know, like even one dinner, I'm going to pay for you. Mm -hmm. Even a friend, uh, he's taking me out. I used to date him, but we just became friends. There wasn't, I didn't have no Mm -hmm. attraction to him, but he was so nice that we just became really good friends. And even this weekend, he's like, Oh my gosh, Lenore, the past two weekends you've made dinner for me, brought me uh, all my mixed drinks, my beer that I wanted, blah, blah, blah. He goes, uh, this weekend I want to take you to Long Beach and take you for the seafood, plan, right. blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, you don't have to. He goes, no, he goes, it's, it's, you always do pay back. So um, I've always been that. I've never, ever mm-hmm. felt like I needed a man to take care of me. I need a man, you know what, for, well, for Bing, bing, and yeah. <laughs> for in case I was a freaking mouse in the house because that right. scares the crap out of me. You need There's a man to be a man. Well, yeah, you know, do manly I, things. Yeah, that's it. it. But the I wouldn't even say all manly things because when I owned my house, my husband was so damn lazy. We bought a house that had wood paneling all over. I was the one that took all the paneling down, sanded it. Um, primered it and painted all the walls. Oh my God. I'm the one that put up all the, what are the alarm systems in the house? I'm the one that, I mean, I you did, did all everything. The, wow. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I literally don't need a man for anything. Um, like I said, to, unless for that or, or yeah. getting a mouse in the house. Do you have any horror stories with dating people online? Oh my gosh, let me think. My worst one is we were talking for weeks and weeks and weeks. Sounded normal. He comes to pick me up and I'm like, I need about 10 more minutes. And I go, you could come up and just, you know, wait. I'll be just 10 minutes. So he comes up. I come out of my bathroom from finishing up. You guys are already in the hotel? Or what? No, okay. this is at my apartment. Okay, okay. So he's going to pick you up in 10 minutes. Yeah, so he picks me up he, and... I tell him just, you know, I'll be 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I go walk in my kitchen. What's he doing? Freaking smoking a crack pipe. Oh, <laughs> And I'm like, really? I go, you know what? You need to leave right now. He goes, what? What? He freaking lays on the carpet in the living room. And he goes, can you just sit on me right now? You know, he was all. <laughs> and I was like, what? I knock on my, my, uh, neighbor's door and I'm like help me get this guy out of here and he's still freaking laying there thinking I'm just gonna do like this sexual favor and oh be all freaky and I'm like what I was so livid and pissed and he goes what he goes I'm never gonna call you again I go thank you but it was like three weeks I was talking to him he was probably the the worst one ever wow yeah walk into the kitchen smoking a crack pipe I don't do drugs, you know. I drink. I'm, I, my, my drug of choice is alcohol. You know, that's my thing, and I ain't gonna. I, I, we even took my cam. My, I have a roommate now, and I go, damn, I have a problem. Huh? And he goes, that's like three months worth, Lenora. I'm, what I'm the still. Fuck? But no, uh, I couldn't believe. And he literally laid on the, just, on the living room floor, thinking I was just gonna. Just well, sit well, on his face yeah. until he just passed yeah. out numb with right. the full fucking tweaked out. Freaking weirdo. Oh, my God. Well, you're a, I go, this is our first date t- after talking for three weeks. And I was like, oh. <laughs> that was the sickest one. Oh. And he wasn't even all that when I seen him. Right. I was like, oh. He looked like 
You know who he looked like? The guy, uh, do you know who Midnight Oil is? No. Yeah, they're like an old man. He's from Australia. He's bald and big, weird eyes. And I was like, what the hell? But I was still going to, you know, been talking to him for three weeks. I can't just shaft him. I should have. There are definitely creeps out there. They're, no, the creeps are out there. Like, a lot of guys men don't know. Women. Yeah, men and women, too, you know, but... But a lot of nice guys don't really know the to the extent of what women have got to go through with creeps. You know, if yeah. th if they just knew like even a fraction, they would go, "Okay, let me just first date is to prove to her that I'm not a creep." Like right. I think that's what dating is right now. On the first date, to me, like it's just prove to her, "Yo, you're I'm a mensch. I'm a, I'm a good guy. I'm the, right. not a creep. Not a I'm not gonna rape you. I'm not gonna." do yeah. any you know that's just Steal what it, from you yeah nothing you know it's just to lay down on your intentions I still believe in the first date you know the, the the courting process of you know pay for the coffee pay for something just the courtship right. of it you know to to gain the trust of a stranger but because now i think because women in this feminist movement have put it into like oh women can do it just as men and women can can defend themselves just as men you know what don't ever believe that because you know what Women, even till this day, still want the door open for them. Yeah, they do. They still want to be treated like a lady. That's they right. Still, yeah. It's coming back ends. into fact. And that courtship never goes out of style. No, it's Courtesy, forever. courtesy. Ever. It's always, I mean, I Just don't care like who you Just like the way you would want your girl to, you know, massage you and appreciate, you know, well, what you yeah. do for her. Heck you know, yeah. it, it goes the same way. Yeah. Um, it's just, people forgot about that, I think, and, they, it, it, I, I think other women made it contemptible for to even allow that. Like in some cases, like for example, let me give you some example. Well, I hate that feminist movement. Uh, a lot of women are running to, from it in droves because it's not what it was intended to like even be, become. They, it's this man hating. Yeah, just, it is. It's just completely. Half of them were lesbians, I think. The, oh yeah, the, uh, even most like philosopher feminists is like just. Bitter feminist. Yeah, Jane Fonda is uh, one of them. I mean, I feel bad for them. I mean, a lot of women, they're like, I just want to be happy. Why do I have to subjugate myself to this hateful ideology? I love men. Yeah, not all men are perfect, but I like fucking and, men. Yeah, and not men, uh, not all women are perfect either. Of course not. You know, no, but it's, I mean, you're. Uh, it's it's the saying that goes, you know, women are not put in this earth to do what men can do. Women are put in this earth to do what men can't do. Right. You know what? We're in two different generations, me and you. Yeah. But it's still the same from the beginning of time. Right. It's still Women out there. Women want to be treated, you know, appreciated, uh, loved. Yeah, um, and, and so do men. Yeah, they do. But we have to have that filter. Like, perhaps, perhaps, like, every woman has to have that filter of filtering out if you're a creep or not, right? Until it's proven different, in her mind, she has to say, all men are creeps until it's proven different. Right. Right? And that's safety for her. For me, you know what I do? All women are flakes until it's proven different. Right. And yes. that's something that I have to do because women have the constant barrage of dick offerings and buffets right. that they can, cost. it's so easy for them to ghost. It's so easy for them to get dick that it's, it, I have and, to make and, sure and that and you're giving me time. for women to get it. it. Of course it is. All they got to do is open their legs and that's it. Right. But they don't, they don't get any satisfaction of how they get dick. They get satisfaction on how they get love. Well, that's what I told my friend, I was like, you know what? I I don't want just that. You know, I could have that with any Tom, Dick, or Harry. I want <laughs> feelings. I want relationships. Yeah. I want no. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Crap. Well, it seems that, that for a, for, that. for it seems that just last note seems that for a 53 year old woman, you've certainly adapted well to the times, and I really commend you with that. I don't oh, know if it's the tattoos, but you are badass. Thank you very much. <laughs> right? I think so. <laughs>